I'm going to swap down a couple of bothersome flies. Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go.
Excellent Snake. I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Behind D. Colonel. What's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea. But it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. There are only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, he must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake. But, uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a trained killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, If you want to get in, there's the front door. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. Uh, there's one sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers and pineapples. What about the air duct near the door? There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. Surveillance camera?
Snake, this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what are you doing here? I quit being a drill instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you, so call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. in the first floor basement. What about the vent shaft cleaning? They just opened the vent covers. They're about to start spraying for rats. First floor basement ventilation shaft. Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell? Did something happen? There's an intruder. Really? He's already done three people. He's killed three people? Yeah. Say he's using stealth, too. Stealth? There's an intruder besides me? Anyway, I want you to increase the security detail on the Chief. Use the elevator to change floors. There should...
Look at the radar. It's picking up the DARPA chief. He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. Cold? I hate Alaska. Boy, oh boy, that woman is built all right. signal is coming from somewhere in that area. Isn't there some place to drop down? Take a look around in first-person view mode. Save you. You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? You here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They could launch a nuke. Uh, what? How do they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay? We were conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear... It can't be...
The Hudson River, two years ago. We had classified intelligence that a new type of Metal Gear was scheduled for transport. The whole thing stank, but our noses have been out in the cold too long. This is Snake. Do you read me, Otacon? Loud and clear, Snake. Kept you waiting, huh? I'm at the sneak point. Everything going okay? Mm, stealth camo's busted. Landing impact. We must have overused it. Sorry, but you're gonna have to deal with it. You're not in the military anymore. Right. I didn't plan on relying on this gadget anyway. The private sector's not so bad, is it? Privacy guaranteed? I'm happy as long as no one gives me any more unwanted gifts. You mean that thing with Naomi? And I can't say I miss the chattering nanny. Mei Ling's not so bad. That reminds me, I have to get in touch with her again about that new Natick flashware. Diverting toys from the SSCEN again? Look, give her a message from me. Someone will find out, sooner or later. She's better off as...
The mission objective is to make visual confirmation of the new metal gear being transported by that tanker and bring back photographic evidence. But I want you first to go up to the top level of the infrastructure, to the bridge. We need to find out where the tanker is headed. A little reconnaissance, huh? There's too much we don't know about this new prototype. Capabilities, deployment method, we don't even know how close it is to completion. If we know where the testing arena is, I can start to draw some reasonable conclusions. All right, I'll head to the bridge ASAP. Try to avoid confrontations. Our goal is to collect evidence on Metal Gear development and expose it to the world. It would be best if you could get out of there without alerting anyone. Don't worry, I know the drill. We're not terrorists. Very good. Don't you forget that you're part of philanthropy now, an anti-Metal Gear organization and officially recognized by the UN. Recognized, but still fringe, Otacon. All right, let's look at your gear. Your weapon is a tranquilizer gun converted from a Beretta M92F. M9? It's a little hard to work with because you have to reload after each shot since the slide locks. Better than scavenging at the mission site. Good suppressor, too. The chemical stun will take effect in a few seconds and last for hours. You can take down an elephant with that thing. Check out the laser sighting, too. The effects of the anesthetic round will vary depending on what part of the body is hit. We're talking about a difference of tens of seconds between hitting limbs, chest, or head. They don't look armed. Hey, Earth to Snake. These are nice, upstanding Marines, not terrorists. Don't get caught. You're in stealth mode here. Sure, and if it comes to that, a little beauty sleep never hurt anyone. By the way, Otacon, are you sure of this intelligence? Absolutely. Hacked it out of the Pentagon's classified files myself. No traces? Oh, please, I'm too good for that. But this might be a trap. Remember, there's a price on our heads. You're just being paranoid. I hope so. Those men, you wouldn't think they were anything but civilians from here. With all the ships passing on the river and in the harbor, putting uniformed marines on the deck would be a bad idea. People can get a clear view of the water from Riverside, too. The water line is too high. According to the navigational plans, this ship should have discharged its cargo upriver. It's in there, no doubt about it. The military trains you to watch for threats from the stern on a boat. That's SOP for counter-terror ops, too. Security should be tighter. You worry too much. Where's the target? Satellite surveillance is a major international pastime these days. I'd say the cargo holds, safely below the deck. Do you see the entrance to the holds? Looks like there are a few entryways into the crew quarters. The chopper. What? You sure? No marine barber touched that head of hair. I'm transmitting a photo. Let's get an ID on him ASAP. I'm on it. Looks like the tanker's theirs now. K-60 Kasatka. Kasatka? Kamov Chopper, right? Killer Whale. We need to get a fix on who they are.
Snake, go through that door into the ship's interior. Push the action button down in front of the door and wait until the door opens before letting go. If you need to open the door faster, hit the action button repeatedly while you turn the handle. Make sure you keep doing it until the door is open. Snake, there's a surveillance camera in place. Once you're in its field of view, an alarm will go off. You can't afford to be seen. You can also use the chaff grenade to set up some electronic interference. The camera will be ineffective for a while. There's a blind spot right beneath the camera. Use it to buy some time. see it. Some kind of device on both sides of the hall. Infrared sensors? Right. And they're linked to... Let me guess. Semtex. Exactly. Plastic explosives. If you trip the sensors... I'll be sleeping with the fishes, along with this entire ship. That sounds about right. Hmm. There aren't that many infrared beams. Maybe you can get past those without setting off the explosives. If you need to see exactly where the beams are, you can use the usual method. 
There's a fire extinguisher over there. Break it open and try scattering some of the extinguishing chemicals. Did you find out where that ship is headed? Yeah, I'm looking at it. 35 degrees longitude, latitude around 58. More than 500 miles off the coast of the Bermudas, out in the middle of the Atlantic. So the prototype is ready for solo testing. It's basically combat worthy. That area is outside the Second Fleet's operational range, too. It must be a standalone Marine Corps project, which means this prototype Metal Gear must be designed for independent deployment without any naval assistance. Anyway, analysis can wait till later. Snake, you need to go down to the holds and locate the actual metal... Huh? Control room, communications and engine room are under control. All entry and exit points to the tanker hold secured. Infrared sensors placed and operational. Good work. Are the explosives in place? Yes, they are all planted. Listen, once we have what we came for, the tanker will be scuttled. And the vehicle's pilot? He's the only one who underwent the VR training. No one else can do it. Are you sure you can trust him? Your part in the mission is complete. You are to leave at once. No, it's not over yet. I can see the moon, even in this storm, pale as death. I have a bad feeling about this mission. You swore this to me, that you would leave the unit once the mission was complete. Do not worry, this is a country of liberty. No, this is where I belong, with the unit. I have nowhere else to go. Father, I want to stay and fight. There is no choice to make here, Olga. Need I remind you that you are carrying my grandchild? You will be
I've been with the unit since I was born. I grew up on the battlefield. Conflict and victory were my parents. The unit is my life, my family. We shared everything, all the bad and all the good. I have no one, nothing except the unit. Nothing else matters to me. Whoever you are, you're not stopping us. The ship appears to be under there. After the end of World War II, the world was split into two, East and West. This marked the beginning of the era called the Cold War. Approaching Soviet airspace. 20 minutes to drop off. Commencing internal depressurization. Equipment check. Arm main parachute. All right. You ready to go? Drop zone still showing a high pressure mass. Cab okay. Good. We've got high visibility. Oxygen hose to interior connector. Put on your mask. Does this panty waste know what he's doing? 
approaching release point. Ten minutes to drop off. Hey, are you deaf? He said put out the cigar and put on your mask. Depressurization complete. Checking oxygen supply. Six minutes to drop off. Opening rear hatch. I've got some important news. The head of the CIA has finally given us the green light for the virtuous mission. Virtual mission? No, the virtuous mission. The future of our Fox unit depends on it. If it succeeds, we'll be officially organized into a unit. Virtuous mission? Sounds like some kind of initiation ritual. You know, don't get cocky. This isn't a training op. Right. So what exactly is this wonderful mission? Well... About two years ago, a certain Soviet scientist requested asylum in the West through one of our moles. His name is Nikolai Stepanovich Sokolov. He's head of the OKB-754 Design Bureau, one of the Soviet's top secret weapon research facilities, and the East's foremost expert on weapons development. Sokolov? Isn't he that famous rocket scientist? The very same. On April the 12th, 1961, the Soviets achieved the first manned spaceflight in history. The Earth was blue, but there was no God. Well spoken. The rocket that carried Yuri Gagarin to orbit was the A-1, known as the Vostok rocket. Sokolov is said to be the man most responsible for the multi-engine cluster used in that rocket. After Gagarin's flight, Sokolov left rocket development become the head of the newly established Design Bureau. From a lowly technician to head of a Design Bureau, that's quite a success story. So why do you want to defect? It seems he'd become afraid of his own creations. Afraid? Call it a crisis of conscience. And for that, he left his country and his family behind and went over the fence? Not exactly. One of his conditions was that his family was also to be taken safely to the West. We used a mole. is to infiltrate Selino Yask in the Soviet mountains, ensure the safety of Sokolov and bring him back to the west. If we don't get Sokolov back before that weapon is complete, we'll be facing a major crisis. The clock is ticking. <laughs> Once 
Once we've confirmed the rescue of Sokolov, stand by at the recovery point. A recovery balloon will be dropped at that point. Helium will be pumped into the balloon to inflate it. The process takes about 20 minutes. Once it's complete, the gunship's arm will latch onto the balloon and pull it up. The Fulton surface-to-air recovery system. I'm familiar with the theory. Take it easy. It's been combat proof. Do you think Sokolov is up to it? The shock will be less than during a parachute jump, and the arm can handle up to 500 pounds. So you're planning on going over the border in a single combat talent? She's equipped with two six-barrel 20mm Vulcan cannons, as well as two 40mm machine guns. Sounds like she could hold her own against a battalion of tanks. Even with the fuel in the reserve tank, we're facing a four-hour time limit. If all goes well, it shouldn't take more than a few hours. Home in time for dinner. But if anything goes wrong, you'll be eating dinner, breakfast, and all the rest of your meals in the jungle. Do you copy? You're already in enemy territory, and somebody might be listening in. From here on out, we'll be using code names to refer to each other. Your code name for this mission will be Naked Snake. I'll be referring to you as Snake from now on. You're not to mention your real name. Snake? What, you don't like snakes? What do you mean? You've eaten one before, haven't you? In survival training. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. I don't know if I'd ever order one in a restaurant, but... Be careful. You might not have a choice. What about you, Major? What should I call you? Hmm, let's see. I'll be... I'll be Tom. Call me Major Tom. This will be a sneaking mission. You must not be seen by the enemy. You must leave no trace of your presence. Is that clear? This kind of infiltration is the Fox Unit's speciality. In other words... Snake, where do you think you're going? You can't expect to proceed with the mission without any weapons or equipment. First, you'll need to recover your backpack. It's caught on a tree to the south. Press the action button to climb the tree and retrieve your backpack. Is that clear?
I see you've retrieved your backpack, Snake. To equip a weapon, it's necessary to take it out of your backpack. In the survival viewer, choose weapon from the backpack. Snake, try to remember some of the basics of CQC. Commencing virtuous mission now. Major, I've spotted two enemy soldiers. They're probably KGB troops sent to guard Sokolov. AK-47s and grenades. Snake, your presence in Soviet territory is already a violation of international law. We can't let the Kremlin find out that the CIA and the American government are involved. Contact with the enemy is strictly prohibited. Don't engage them in battle, either. This is a stealth mission. Got that? The Major is right.
Major, I've reached the abandoned factory where Sokolov is supposedly being held. This place is a dump. I can't see Sokolov from here. The security is pretty tight. There are sentries posted around the perimeter. I wonder how many are inside. Your objective, Sokolov, is inside the factory. 